Hello everybody, welcome to a tutorial on how to join any alpha or beta Minecraft server using the launcher Mine Online. It's a specially made launcher for connecting to beta and alpha servers. As far as I am aware, it can connect without any issues to any server for those versions, uh, unless it's whitelisted, of course. And so that's very exciting. And so now you're probably like, whoa, joining old alpha and beta servers. How do I do this? Alrighty, first thing you're gonna do, go to the link in the description. I'm going to show you how to join my server, but uh, it works for anyone. So yeah, info about my server is also in the description, but uh, so is the link to mine online. Online, go to mine online their website mineonline.cody.gg click download you can download for windows or you can click other other works for like i would assume everything that isn't windows so if you're mac whatever i'll just hit download for other mainly because i'm doing a tutorial to work for the most amount of people windows one is just it's a .exe instead of a .jar file and it has a nice little thumbnail uh so yeah there you go you're done that's all you got to do there download it install it drag it onto your desktop and now you have a launcher. Double click the launcher. Bada bing, bada boom, it's open. So type your email in and then put in your password. What you're probably thinking is this guy, is he going to steal my Minecraft password? He's gonna log into my account and hack on Hypixel with it. Well, uh, no, <laughs> just hit login. He doesn't know what your password is. It's all locked behind whatever Mojang uses because it connects to Mojang servers directly. That being said, if you don't you know, trust my word on it, you can check the source code, which is on the website. Here, you can click source code, boom. It'll bring you to the source code where you can you know, take a look at it and see what happens exactly with your Minecraft login and all that. So if you're one of those people, go down there, you can check that out and then, you know, make sure if you're really that worried about it. I'm not one of those people who's worried about it, uh, so I'm using this launcher. You can, you know, of course, load up a single player world on any version you want, you can select it, but I'm not doing single player worlds right now. It's pretty simple to figure that one out. I'm doing multiplayer. Now what you'll notice is this list of servers just pops up and you're like, wow, that's a lot of servers. Yes, so this is every single alpha and beta server that is aware of the existence of this this client and the owners have taken their time out of their day to make sure it connects to their server list. You head over here, you make it connect, and your server will show up. Currently, my server is being featured, full block fence. Uh, the version updates every week, so I will have that updated in the description of each of my videos on the topic of this server, so you'll always have the right version. There's also a Discord link if you need to stay updated. But yeah, you can click it there, um, or you know, type the IP address in the description. If you don't wanna join one of the servers that's on this list, or you can't find a server that you wanna play, just go to Direct Connect, type in, I don't know, my, my server IP by heart. What's wrong with me? Play dot sap love dot net colon two five five nine eight but hit connect type it whatever and then you select the version of minecraft that server is available for that version being alpha 1.2 underscore zero one you just hit play but if it's a different version you just hit play on that and it works you just hit play and boom it'll do this it looks like oh no it's crashed it actually has and it hasn't crashed you're good you're safe and boom here you are on the server isn't this lovely if you want to connect to a server that's already in the list you know and just hit there you hit join server select one of the versions that are compatible with that and hit play and you're done and now you know how to play literally any server that exists for that version. I believe even all the way up to release versions that don't have online mode. So that's pretty epic. It's basically an alternative launcher that, that has sound and skin fix and even certain features like if you hit R on your keyboard, you actually open up the menu. You can basically scale your GUI and it gives you a bunch of extra things like you can get yourself, you know, a different FOV. So if you like uh, the normal FOV, which is what the game would normally look like without the launcher then you can. Uh, you can, you know, do a whole bunch of other things, like you can hide the version number or not. I like Quake Pro <laughs> I like playing beta versions of Minecraft without actually the authentic feeling of them. I don't, I don't know. You can get texture packs, which is something you couldn't get before. You can actually connect to other Minecraft servers from this one, or you can save and quit the launcher entirely, or you can just disconnect using the basic version and go to the basic features of this version. And so it's just, it's a lot more options are available. So if you want to have the authentic experience on this version, you can, or if you want to modify it just to be a little more convenient visually um, look nicer you can it's a very lovely launcher and I totally recommend it if you want to play my server all the information is in basically this video also in the description for what version 
um, if it doesn't for whatever reason automatically tell you uh, the rules for the server are pretty simple don't hack you know no cheating don't lag the server um, but besides that as long as you're not using an exploit that harms the server or creates new items or uh, harms other players you're allowed to do anything well we allow griefing we allow building <laughs> we allow going out as far as you want we don't have restrictions on like i don't know what can and can't be done like how far out you can walk currently got a group walking to the far lands <laughs> good luck to them on that uh just don't don't cheat on here please we have a problem with people joining the server and then spawning in enormous amounts of tnt and then going boom i'll show you the boom spot <laughs> is this the boom spot yes okay that's just part of the boom spot where's the big boom spot <laughs> I remember it. Yeah, here we go. Here's the big boom. The the real big explosion. Uh, my internet is probably cut out, which is why these zombies aren't killing me. But somebody nuked a hole straight down to bedrock with TNT. <laughs> much appreciated. Thank you very much, whoever did that. Um, I hate you. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's all I have to say. That's how you join any version of Minecraft. You're welcome. I will update the description and maybe the pinned comment of this video if something happens to the launcher and my method no longer works, um, but I, I find it hard to believe that going to the website and downloading, hitting the download button is going to change anytime soon, but on the off chance that yeah, that is the case, I will notify you. There we go, that's all I gotta say on the matter. Enjoy! Check out my server. Check out other people's servers, but mostly just mine. <laughs> See ya!